welcome back, little artist. I'm so excited to be here with you again today. I had so much fun drawing our armadillo last time. Let's keep it with the rodeo theme and draw a longhorn today. But first I wanna introduce something new. It's our first little artist spotlight. So check it out. All right, we have our paper ready and we are going to get our crayons and our markers out. I'm gonna be using my pencil and my marker today. All right, we're gonna start with our pencil and we're gonna draw the head. So we're going to make a rectangle shape that is more wide at the top and narrow at the bottom. We're gonna move on to the body. So on the side of the head, I'm gonna make a curved line going out. And then come under his head and make a big oval shape, another curved line to meet the top. All right, let's make his legs. We're gonna make short legs for the other side of his body, a rectangle shape that's kind of curved on the bottom, and then another longer leg, that will be his front leg, the leg that we see on, on this side of the body. And we'll do the same thing in the back, a short leg in the back. And a longer one behind that. Okay, I'm almost done with my pencil. I'm gonna take my eraser and erase the lines that are on the long legs. I'm gonna erase both lines going across the long legs. We'll keep those lines across the back legs. All right, let's get our black marker out. We're gonna trace over what we've done so far. tracing over his head. And then tracing that body. Trace those back legs. All right, we need a tail. So at the back of his body, we're gonna make a curved line, kind of like a backward S shape. And I'm gonna thicken that line out just a little bit. And then we're going to make a curved line to a point on both sides, or the little hair at the end of his tail. All right, let's do his horns. On each side of his head, we're gonna make a long line going up at the end. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll come down on the sides of his head, follow that line and connect it at the end. Same thing on the other side. All right, he needs some ears. Let's make some ears under his horns. I'm gonna make a curved line coming down to a point and then back up to the other side. Same thing. Made that ear a little too small. I'm gonna make it just a little bigger. And then we'll trace the insides. Okay. Let's go to his face. Let's make his nose, make a line across the bottom of his head. And then we're gonna make some kind of like eyebrows. So we'll start at each side of his head, go down to the middle of his nose, go to the other side of the top of his head, down to the middle of his nose. Okay. 
And then let's make some squiggly lines going across that for some hair in the front of his head. Let's add his eyes, little circles on both sides. And then for his nose, we will add some little short lines, two short lines. There we go. Looking good. Okay, let's go to his tail and add some details for that hair. Just add some lines going down his tail. We're gonna add some hooves now. Make a line going across the bottom of each foot. And then we'll color them in. He's looking great. All right, let's put some patterns or some marks on our longhorn. I'm gonna make some big splatter shapes, so just some curvy lines around his body. Anywhere you want, try to visualize what a real longhorn would look like. Some long shapes, some circle shapes. Yours do not have to look just like mine. You can make your shapes however you want. All right. I think he's ready. It is time to color our longhorn. All right, I'm gonna color my longhorn similar to the picture that we saw of the real longhorn, the photograph, and I'm gonna make his spots uh, a darker orange color. You can make your spots any color you want. It does not have to match mine. color in his tail and his hair. His ears. I'm gonna take out my pink and color the inside of his ears. I'm gonna use a lighter shade of orange, it's a yellow orange, to color in his body, and I'm just gonna color really lightly. I'm gonna shade in those back legs, darker, so it looks like some shadow. I'm gonna get my pink back out and just color lightly over his nose. And then we're gonna leave his horns white. All right, I want a hill behind my longhorn. He's gonna be grazing in a field. So I'm gonna put some patches of grass under his feet and then some patches all around him. Where are you going to put your longhorn? What will the setting be for yours? All right, I'm gonna take my green and I'm just gonna shade in lightly all over that grass, that hill. And then let's get a sunset. I'm gonna make a big rainbow with my yellow crayon and I'm gonna color that in. 
You could add some oranges and pinks here and it would look really nice. And then we're gonna take our blue and fill in all that white space to make our long horn pop on the page. All right, our longhorn is finished. I hope you had so much fun drawing your longhorn. I would love to see what yours looks like. Send me some pictures and we can put them in our next artist spotlight. Alrighty, the last thing I have for you is my book recommendation. So my book is about a bull, not a longhorn, but a very special bull named Ferdinand. I love this story and you've probably seen the movie, The Story of Ferdinand by Monroe Leaf. I had so much fun drawing with you today and I cannot wait to do it again. Thanks for joining me. Bye little artists.